Hi everyone, on today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be having a look at creating this particle disintegration or particle reveal, depending on which way you play the sim. We're going to be using GPU particles with Nexus, a load of modifiers, and we'll be doing a couple of cool tricks with Nexus Question to give us a little bit more control. So, let's jump into cinema and start the clock. In our scene then we have this text object we've written top tip let's go to our xp emitter in fact we'll make that text invisible the emitter has been set up in shot mode to shoot out a load of particles on the surface of our text so we have our particles so what we're going to do is blast these particles away from this um, top tip text and then we can reverse it to create our reveal so let's go to nexus and we want to explode them away nx explode is what we want we want to explode explode them away from the center of the modifier um, let's go to the object tab um, what you can do is by default it's set to the particle mass center but we want it to be under our controls we'll put this modifier so it'll blast away from this center of the uh, uh, of this origin point let's put the speed on say 150 with a variation of 100 and we want it to continually give the particles this speed so it'll continue coming outwards even when we bring other forces in so we need to deselect speed at start only which just sets the speed once so now when we hit play they get blasted outwards that looks good but um, obviously very diffuse let's bring in a turbulence to sort out some detail so we'll bring in an nx turbulence we'll put it below the explode so it does the explode first then the turbulence the noise type we're going to set to borrow noise i'm going to make this pretty strong say 25 and we want to add some nice detail so we're going to put fine detail by increasing the octaves but this is going to be so fine we don't get any nice swirls so let's reduce the persistence which will bring some of the larger scale swirls in there as well as that fine detail yeah that's looking good isn't it all right so now we want to animate this effect because at the moment it's just happening all the time let's make that explode invisible so we're going to do that with groups we'll go to the emitter groups tab hold control click um, create add group twice once twice and we want the mode to just put all of the particles in group one when they're born so let's go to this and change it to first group only and in our two modifiers we're going to say only affect group two particles so let's with them highlighted go to the groups affected and drag in group two so now if we hit play we're not going to get any animation because all the particles are in group one and these modifiers are only affecting group two and so we're not getting any movement and now we're going to use fields to swap them from group one to group two and then they'll start moving so let's go to nexus we're going to do that with an nx question let's go to the object tab we're going to bring in a question and we're going to say if the particle and we don't want to ask an age we want to ask if it's in a field so let's change it to a field question field if it is in the field then do something and we want to swap it from group one to group two so let's add an action if it's in the field set not the color but we want to set the group to particle group two let's drag it in now we haven't got a field in the scene yet so let's go to the fields tab and we're going to do this with a spherical field let's click that so if we hit play now all particles inside the field yep yeah, look they have been um, put into group two and then they have been affected by our two modifiers cool so let's just animate this uh, field we'll start with it on look on our field tab in the size we'll start with it on zero centimeters and then that's at frame 41 so then at about frame 152 we'll put this up and we'll scale this field up so it completely encaps encapsulates our text hit a keyframe so now you're going to see our effect yeah that's looking pretty cool so now we want to start killing off some of these um, particles they've got a full lifespan so how do we do that well here's a cool trick let's go to our next question and after this action set to group two I'm going to add another action and this one is not set color we're going to reset the age of the particle back to zero so let's change the set color to set age and put it on set the age to zero 
and just set once only. So when they're put into group two, it then resets their age counter down to zero. Cool. And now we're going to add one more action after that. So reset the age to zero and then set the particle lifespan to, let's say, 85 frames. So let's have a look. We get our animation, our particles moving, and then they die off. Brilliant. So there we have got our, it could be a disintegration of a scene object or text, or if you play it in reverse once it's cached, it could be a kind of forming, a, a reveal of whatever that object is. And of course, this is a totally procedural rig. So if we go to our text and change it from top tip to Bob and replay, now we have got a different reveal or disintegration effect.